Well, I think Marilyn Manson, I mean, if you, if you listen to any kind of interview with Marilyn Manson, you know he's a very educated person. He knows, um, he knows what's going on, and he, he knows how to, how to project that. Um, so it's like you have these um, religious right and stuff like that that are just kind of talking nonsense, trying to get these kids to say, oh, that's bad and this is good, but yet you have somebody who's, who might look crazy and everything, but they're, they're educated, they know what to talk about, it makes sense. And um, so I think it, it allowed, I mean, there was other bands that were definitely around, but they just didn't have the mainstream um, thing going on. So Manson was able to take, you know, all this underground music and expose it to the world and this, you know, I guess the goth look and everything. And it was supposed to be, a, a, you know, the whole concept was originality, which soon became conformity. I mean, you went to a Marilyn Manson show and everybody looked like Marilyn Manson. And it kind of took the purpose out of, for me at least, of what Marilyn Manson was about because these kids weren't being themselves. They thought they had to do this. And, you know, I would meet fans along the road and, and they would talk about, you know, oh, I'm going to kill myself, I'm going to do this. And you'd have to sit there and have to talk to these kids and say, you know, that's not what he's saying. He's saying be individual, you know, don't follow everything he's saying literally, you know, think for yourself, um, look the way you want to look, don't look the way that you think you have to look to be a Marilyn Manson fan. Um, but I think, uh, you know, he's a very educated person and it's very hard to to take it as, as a joke. I mean, it's obviously there's a purpose behind what he does and he makes there be a purpose. If and if it really wasn't an, an initial purpose for what he was doing, he makes it, you know, he says, this is why I'm doing this. This is a purpose. And it's, and it's very, you know, educated. It's a very educated, you know, speaker. I think when politicians and, and the religious right come come after people and say this is why this has happened because you know you're Satan and you're this and it really doesn't make sense and I think the the masses of the population can see that what they're saying isn't isn't the truth you know and it, you have somebody who's it, he's a showman it's entertainment you know and that's all it's meant to be his songs aren't meant to be go blow up a high school for full of kids you know it's it's, it's, it's obviously, it's, what am I trying to say? I guess, you know, you, you, there's people, and you know, obviously probably each of us that, you know, when we were growing up, we were into some different music, we were into some different fashion, and to us it was harmless, but you, you would be picked on, you know, you weren't fitting in, and, you know, at least with Marilyn Manson, and the amount of fan base that he was able to develop, the he didn't feel like such an outcast. So I think like the people and the kids from Columbine and stuff, I mean, if anything, Manson was something for them to stay alive for, you know. It it was that's all they had, you know, that's that's what they believed in, that's what they could relate to. And this other um, culture around them, you know, they had no they were lost. So they reacted, and uh, I remember in Bowling for Columbine, uh, Brian's response to, you know, if what would you say to those kids if you had to talk to them? And he said, I would just listen, and that's, that's a brilliant answer. You know, it's like, I think you knew what your fans wanted to say, you know, and you just took upon, you listened to what they had to say, and, you know, and he played that, and he was able to make, you know, say that it, this is okay, this is okay if you want to look like this, you're not a freak, you know, you do belong, you do have a place, you know, and any, I think he knew, it's like you grow out of stages and, you know, and, and it's just part of life, you know, you have to find yourself and there's a lot of kids out there that are lost, you know, and that was somebody they could relate to and I think it, any celebrity that you could relate to is a, is a good thing, I mean, it shouldn't be looked at like, okay, he's the reason that you're going to go commit murder, it's, it's it's the opposite. I mean, that's the reason that you're surviving. You're you have somebody you relate. If not, if you didn't have, if those kids didn't have that music to listen to, what did they have? They obviously didn't, you know, fit into their surroundings. So, you know, that's all they had. It was it's kind of the opposite, you know.
that's what probably kept him alive and kept him not from doing anything for so long. And I'm sure if, you know, if Marilyn Manson was able to talk to those kids, there would have been no murder, you know.